everyone, it's Holly from Baby Gizmo. Today I want to show you a brand new car seat from Kiko. Now many of us know how popular the Kiko KeyFit Infant Car Seat is, right? Well, they, Kiko has taken it to the next level and offered a convertible car seat called the Next Fit Convertible Car Seat. And you know what? I think they did a really good job. Now, what they wanted to do is they wanted parents to install their convertible car seats right the first time, every time, for their car, for their child. And I do want to say this. Um, Parents, please do not get your installation information from a random YouTube video. This, even mine, they're not installation videos. Um, I just think you're going to get wrong information, incorrect information, and your child's safety is not worth it. What you need to do is you need to read your manual. And if you're a little confused on how to install your car seat, take it to a fire station or a police station who has a CPS tech on staff and let the experts do it. Please do not trust random YouTube videos. <laughs> Today, what I'm gonna do though, I'm gonna show you all the features of the next bit because I think they've done a really good job. They've made installation really easy just for the average parent and they've given us a ton of features. Now today I'm going to show you the next fit in my Honda Pilot just because that's what I drive and it makes it easy, but it does fit in a lot of vehicles. Let's go through the specs first. Now it goes from 5 pounds all the way up to 40 pounds rear facing, so that's a high rear facing limit, and then it goes from 22 pounds to 65 pounds forward facing. But let's be honest, we're never going to forward face a 22 pound baby, please. <laughs> Don't forward face a 22 pound baby. What you're gonna do is try to get rear facing up to the closest you can to that 40 pound weight limit, then turn it around. It also has a 50 inch height capacity um, limit. So while my eight year old, she's under 65 pounds, but she is over 50 inches. So she's not gonna fit in this one. So they're probably gonna max out the height before the weight. But just so you know, it goes all the way up to 65 pounds. Now let's start with the seat. The seat has a secure five point harness and what's unique about it is it has a two position chest clip and if it's farther apart, it says right here, forward facing. If you squeeze it together and clip it that way, that's for rear facing and it does print it right on there so that you're not confused on which one is for rear facing versus forward facing. It also is padded and it has a six position headrest and this is great because all you have to do is lift it up like that by pushing the orange button and lifting and that allows the whole harness harness to also lift up. So this is a no rethread harness, which I think is fabulous because as your child grows, you don't have to uninstall it and then rethread it. It it does it just with this button and raising the headrest. Again, six positions up there. There's an infant insert here. You will remove this when the baby gets a little bit bigger. And underneath here, there are two position crotch straps. Have you ever had those car seats where you got a big kid, you got a big baby and this crotch strap is you know, kind of crowding them. That's why they gave you two. They gave you one for the smaller babies and then move it out for when your baby gets a little bit bigger. Here's your orange button right here. This one is going to loosen your harness for when you need to loosen it and then just pull like that to tighten it. So that's pretty typical. There is a cup holder and the cup holder goes on either side depending on whichever side you want it on. So that's kind of nice. It just clips right in there. So that is the seat. Now let's start with rear facing first. Goes from five pounds up to 40 pounds, like I said. It has nine recline positions. This is going to ensure that it fits your vehicle and whether you're going forward facing or rear facing, you're gonna use these recline positions in conjunction with the bubble level. And what I like about this bubble level is it's a two-way level. So in the blue, it tells you exactly where it needs to be in for rear facing or where the bubble needs to be for forward facing. So you wanna pay attention. Everything is marked really well on this so you don't get confused. So obviously it's not reclined enough because the bubble isn't where it's supposed to be. So all I have to do is recline it. There's a, a lever in front and that's gonna let me pick whichever of the nine recline um, positions. They call this recline shore because they want you to have the right install. So I do that, I'm gonna look and I'm still not perfect here. So I wanna put it up a little bit and for my Honda Pilot, it is right exactly where it needs to be for rear facing and I happen to be on level number two. Now for, you can use latch or the seat belt. The latch, I just like to use latch better because I think it's easier and they have this great feature right here. It's the slide latch strap where you take the latch and you slide it through. It has to do it on both sides. You open up, this is your latch um, container so you could store latch if you're not using it. Okay, so you just slide it over on both sides, like that, close your little door, 
and then you have the latch in the proper position for rear facing. And then when I want to forward face, I just slide it back over. I think that's so convenient and so easy. Um, then I would just attach the latch. Again, this is not an installation video. I'm just showing you that it is easy because it's a little bit different how they did it. They did a cinch tight um, thing here where you don't have to get your whole weight in that car seat to install it. So you're going to install this one, then you're going to install the other side. On the second side, this is where it says pull second. Again, well labeled. You're going to pull that in until it's completely tight. That's why they call it the cinch safe. And that is going to install your seat. That's just how easy it is. And then when you want to take the car seat out, you just push the orange button and that releases the cinch so that it's easy to get those latch out. Okay, it started to rain, so we had to go into the garage. Um, while I love you guys, I'm not gonna stand in the rain for you. So now we're inside if you notice why we're somewhere different. Um, so very, very easy to install. This super cinch technology, it's great because again, I'm not climbing completely in my vehicle and in the car seat. It just makes it a little bit easier for people. And the way they've labeled it, you can't be confused because it says pull first, pull second. So forward facing, you're gonna reverse it. And in the back is your tether strap. The tether strap tucks away really, really nicely. When not in use, it's just back here. You're gonna to wanna to use that tether for forward facing every time. It makes it safer. Just trust me, use the tether. Um, you're gonna tether this into your vehicle. Then you're gonna level it out to make sure it's leveled for forward facing. Again, here's your bubble level. It is actually right on. I landed on, um, Recline number eight and it works. I could even recline it a uh, one more. I could go to I could go to six seven or eight in order to have it Installed perfectly. It looks like seven is the magic number for my vehicle um, Then remember that cool slide the the slide for the latch All you gotta do is open them both up. Okay, you want to slide it both on both sides over close your little doors here And now you have your latch in um, position for forward facing. It also has seatbelt lock offs. Um, so whether you're forward facing or rear facing with the seatbelt, I love the fact that they include the lock offs. So there you go, I've put the latch in the right place. You're gonna do the exact same thing, install your latch, pull number one strap, then pull number two strap until it's tight and it's that easy. Attach your tether, of course, like I said. Um, that's how easy it is. I just love the fact that they've given you all these recline positions and they've given you, you know, the indicator to let you know what is safest for your vehicle. Everybody's vehicle seats are pitched differently and forward facing versus rear facing needs a different recline. So they've just taken the guesswork out of it. Um, and they've given you all of the safety features that you need and the adjustable headrest. You don't have to rethread. I hate to rethread. <laughs> it's just, you know, an extra step I just don't like to do. I hate to uninstall and rethread because Every time I uninstall, you know, I gotta I reinstall it. But this one's easy, so there you go. But I just wanted to show you the Kiko Next Fit. Isn't that fun? It was the Key Fit, now it's the Next Fit. <laughs> so um, it's out now, so you can grab it if you want it. Um, I just think it is a really fabulous car seat with, you know, pretty easy installation for a convertible seat. So there you go. That's just my look at the Kiko Next Fit convertible car seat. Don't forget to like us on Facebook please subscribe to our YouTube channel because you never know what I'm going to review or give away or make next. So subscribe to our YouTube channel and I will talk to you next time. I'm Holly Schultz from babygizmo.com. Bye.